News 46 is brought to you by Golden Casino Group, where you'll always find great fun, good food, and fantastic entertainment, all at Gold Town, Lakeside, and the Pahrump Nugget. News is also brought to you by J.K. Nelson Law. Call 727-9900 today for your free consultation. If you need a lawyer, you need Nelson. News 46 is also brought to you by Humana, serving the community. Please stop in at 1397 South Loop Road on the corner of Loop and Highway 160. Tonight on News 46, police are hoping for leads in an animal abuse case. And a local man is arrested after friends report stolen property. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46 with Deanna O'Donnell. And Unet Gentry. News 46, local coverage you can count on. Police want your help finding an animal abuser. It's Thursday, May 10th. I'm Unet Gentry. The Nye County Sheriff's Office revisits a case regarding a dead animal found near a road in the desert. The Nye County Sheriff's Office is asking the public for any information that they might have about a two-year-old Cocker Spaniel mix that was located approximately 10 months ago on East Basin Avenue, just past the Sheriff's Office. The dog was found deceased inside an animal cage with a bowl that had no water or food inside. It appears that the dog had died from exposure. The dog is described as small and light brown. If you have any information, you're urged to contact the Nye County Sheriff's Office at 775-751. 7,000, you can remain anonymous. The Nye County Sheriff's Office is attempting to round up a loose steer this evening at Pahrump Valley Boulevard and Mount Charleston. The animal appears to have gotten out from its pen at a local farm. The road in that area is closed for the public's and that animal's safety. A local man is arrested after allegedly stealing items from a friend's home. Nico Yeldington has been arrested by the Nye County Sheriff's Office. According to the declaration of arrest, Denico was arrested for grand larceny exceeding the amount of $3,500 that was stolen from a residence off of Sunland Avenue. Deputies were dispatched to Pahrump Valley Auto Plaza in reference to this theft. A witness told police that Denico Yeldington had stolen over $30,000 worth of jewelry and collector coins when he was staying at the individual's home. A check with parole and probation by the Nye County Sheriff's Office discovered that Denico had been using heroin for the past three weeks and that there were individuals trying to help him get clean. Yelvington reportedly stayed two nights at the reporting party's house. An individual inside the home noticed that items were missing after they found a coin from their personal collection lying on the hallway floor. Investigators were able to view surveillance footage from the home, which showed Denico going through their bedroom and taking some items out. Police said that witnesses reported that Denico was highly agitated and depressed, and they were afraid that he might possibly attempt to take his own life. Investigators pinged Yelvington's phone in an attempt to locate the man due to a concern for his safety. Text messages were received saying that he was aware that the police were looking for him and he was going to try to get the items back that he had stolen. Yelvington called detectives and told them that he had returned most of the items to the victim and said that there were additional items at various pawn shops and elected to turn himself in. Denico Yelvington was transported to the Nye County Sheriff's Office Detention Center. A Pahrump bank calls police after a person attempts to cash a check on a closed account. Gary Jackson has been arrested by Nye County Sheriff's Office deputies for uttering a forged instrument and forgery at a residence on Horgan Avenue here in Pahrump. According to the declaration of arrest, deputies were dispatched to Wells Fargo in reference to a fraud. Upon arrival, they made contact with the bank manager who said that there was a male still inside the bank who tried to cash a check made out in his name. She informed deputies that that account had been closed. Deputies made contact with the male who identified himself as Ramil Ringo. 
they said that Ringo said that he was helping his nephew, Gary Jackson, and was cashing a check for him because Jackson did not have identification. Investigators went to an address on Horgan Avenue and made contact with Gary Jackson, who said that he got the checks from a woman who he had done some yard work for. After a search of Jackson's room, deputies found two checkbooks with the victim's name on them. Gary Jackson was arrested and transported to the Nye County Sheriff's Office Detention Center. There's a candlelight vigil for 17-year-old Amber Nicole Hull being held tomorrow night, May 11th, beginning at 7 p.m. at Ian Deutsch Memorial Park. Everyone is welcome to attend. Hull was found at her family home unconscious. Hull died of a suspected drug overdose last month. Her mother and her mother's boyfriend were arrested. Police say that pair are connected to the teen's death. And stay tuned, News 46 will return in a moment.